Hello Shooters and Airsofters! Now we're gonna review the HK45 by Tokyo Maru. So let's get started. So this is the HK45 by Tokyo Maru and this gun is used in John Wick 1. Well, um, let's say that this is not the exact model used in John Wick 1. If I'm not mistaken that is P30L. But this is the nearest that you can get, uh, nearest replica from John Wick 1. Uh, because this one is HK, um, P30L is also HK. But the difference is trigger guard shape and the caliber is different. But overall for TM, I guess this is the nearest that you can get for the uh, John Wick 1 style gun. So if you're collecting, um, I guess this is perfect, perfect for a collection and also perfect for skirmishing. So let's get started. So this is the box, as usual, TM. So let's see what's inside the box. The Japanese manual, <laughs> Japanese made manuals. There, there are targets inside. BBs and other tools. Let's see what's inside. Oh, am I going to remove this? There you go. So we have the BBs uh, pin remover for your grip. So you can change your grip. Um, red cap that you can put to your barrel for safety. BBs. Um, uh, this one you put this on the magazine so you can dry fire your gun and it won't it won't do slide lock. Nice magazine. Tokyo Maru made in Japan. Yeah, proudly made. Hmm, different <laughs> valve design. HK45. Hmm. Uh, so you can replace your grip nice so you have options and the gun nice so let's put this thing on side chamber check yeah it's empty <laughs> there you go Mm, very nice. It's, uh, yeah, this is uh, more heavier than your um, TM Glock, but uh, this is lighter compared to um, other model, all metal models. So mm, nice. Full treats HK, HK 45, 45 Auto. Serial number. Unique serial number. I'm not sure if this is a unique serial number, but the serial number here and here is the same. Warning prefer to owner's manual. Nice texturing. I'm not a big fan of these angles, but not bad. Nice texturing. Even this is um, molded. The texturing is really good. A ASGK Tokyo Marui made in Japan. HK45 and another serial. The hammer made of metal. Feels like plastic but metal. This is the safety. Fire safe. So you cannot pull the trigger. Fire. Yeah, it's working. Double action. By the way, this is a double action pistol, so you have a double action um, mechanism. What I mean for double action is there you have a selection what firing mode you want. If you pack the gun, this will have a lighter trigger pull, but you can also fire the gun. Um, even it's not cock like this, but it's more heavier. So that's for safety purposes. So this is the sights, nine sights, 
with white dots. It's like it, it looks like metal, but this is plastic, so don't be fooled. You know, TM they always build their guns all plastic, not all plastic. Uh, the frame is metal, but for this one, this is also plastic because HK45 they have plastic frames. Nice duration. Very aggressive. So for this one, you can put your plastic flashlights, lasers, um, no threads, so we cannot put anything on it. So let's look at the trigger pull. This is the double action trigger pull. It's quite heavy. But this is much lighter compared to CZ Shadow 2 by KJW. This one is getting heavier than just the shot. So this is the reset. Fire. Reset. Fire. Still a little heavy, but it's manageable. So you need to learn how to find that wall. Uh, you can shot this really fast. But once you get used of it, uh, I guess you're gonna love this gun. I'm not a, a big fan of double action trigger because of that. But anyway, this is a cool gun. So let's look at the safety. Um, If you want to dry fire, uh, you want to dry fire and you don't want to mess with the double action um, you can just put it on safe and you can do some dry fire in here so very nice you can also do this one you can drop this one and pull the trigger I'm not sure if if that's bad for the gun uh, so guys just let me know in the comment section below if this is uh, you can do this safely, but I guess yes, you can do this for um, dry fire practice. There you go. So, another cool feature of this gun that I really love is this. You can adjust your hop up in here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is the dial in there. Now you can adjust your hop up there in the dial, so you don't need to remove the slide. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to remove the slide. So to remove the slide, you need to align this part to this part. Then you need to poke it here. So wait a minute. Let me let me use the tool that they provided. There you go. Nice. Uh, they provide this tool, so you can use it here, and also you can use it here remove the pin. Now you can remove your slide and you can expose the upper part. There you go. Now the cool thing about this, I'm not familiar with the original uh, with the real steel counterpart but the cool thing about this, they already have a shock buffer. I'm really surprised when I'm seeing the internals of this. This is quite different. Well, here we have a shock buffer here. It's a big a plastic and this one is rubber. So, yeah, this is a good protection for your plastic slide. So, I guess this one will last for long compared to the other um, PM guns. So, this is the nozzle. That's a proprietary nozzle. And this is the hop up. Cool, right? So there is gears here, so you can adjust your hop up directly here or here. So this I'm talking about earlier, this one. So you can adjust your hop up here. While it's in the gun, you can adjust it there so you you're not gonna have a hard time adjusting your hop up you don't need to remove your slide so to take it back it's not that complicated you just need to put this back on then align this here there you go then slide it back and 
align again this one slide stop slide lock there you go easy as that um before uh we move on to the shooting test i forgot to mention this gun is lefty friendly but i mean is this is ambi got left handed so rejoice because first slide stop they're also slide stop in the other side very nice so you have options for the mag release here So this the other side and this the other side. So the good thing about this HK45 before the USP and uh, SOCOM, this one is uh, the mag is a little bit lower so it will hit on your holster and your mag will fall. But good thing they already blended the magazine release at the trigger guard so good job to them. Very nice. So that's the ambi. So for the safety, this is only on one side. So sorry guys, for the safety, you need to activate your safety. I don't know how you're gonna activate this with your left hand, but I don't care because it's a double action gun. So your safety is this one. <laughs> so anyway, let's go to the shooting test and let's try this bad boy. You can buy a compensator kit for this so this gun will look like a uh, John Wick chapter 1 gun um, you can find one in the internet I guess you just need to google it and you can find one uh, you can also buy metal kits for this one but uh, I guess this one is really durable it will last for long it feels really thick uh, and this is really friendly for big hands and this light uh, for me I guess this is uh, durable compared to uh, high kappa or 1911 Let's try this. Okay, let's scroll the thing. I'm using Pop Dino Black and JR.2 BBs. 3, 2, 2. Oops. 3, 16. Oops. 3, 16. 3, 13. Now let's try if this will work. It loaded yes you can unload it doing like the real gun I know some of you are curious if you can do a hammer down with the magazine is on so let's try it I've tried this a while ago and <laughs> it has the same problem with shadow shadow 2 so like this let's try to hammer it down with the magazine <laughs> and it will fire so if you want it to put on the hammer down you just need to remove the magazine and that's it now you're on a hammer down so for that one that's a big a pain in the ass that's one of the limitation of airsoft for hammer down so you still need to remove the uh, you need to remove the magazine uh, about this one um, the cool thing about it compared to shadow shadow 2 even you put this on hammer down the gun is uh, not cocked let's pull the trigger the gun is not cocked and then I shot it in double action it will still fire not like on the series shadow if you don't cock your gun and you put it on hammer down it won't fire so cool thing about this that's a cool thing about this uh, HK45 you can also do half cock and shut it it's your option so what can I say uh, for the HK45 yeah this is a cool sidearm especially if you want a unique looking pistol in the field uh, if you're a left-handed very nice and if you want to imitate John Wick on John Wick 1 you just need to put a compensator and you have a John Wick 1 pistol 
not the exact model but this is the nearest model that you can get um let me know in the comment section below if you already saw a p30l version because there is a p30 version but that's a short version but this one uh this is a very similar design to the p30l except for the trigger guard so that's it guys i hope you like the video and i hope you learned something from it